Hello, internet people. Um, not much going on back in the garage, obviously. You can see that. That's probably not necessary to say. <sighs> Captain Obvious. So, what are we doing? Uh, trash can sled. It's back in faster than I thought it'd be. Okay, well, n actually, it lasted longer than I thought it would. Um, so, the pivot point broke again. Um, it actually just ripped my weld off of the metal. So, obviously, the the piece I chose uh, was not of adequate strength to do the job that I was putting it through. And that's me. That's It happens. It actually lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, but, it's broke. So, let's see what we got. Okay. So, as you can see... Oh, maybe focus. There we go. Yeah, it just you know, fatigued the metal wobbling around and uh, snapped it. So I was kind of thinking about it, and I kind of I, I went back first to my initial uh, just do a fixed arm off the front. I, I really don't like that. I know I know that I'm going to run into it, trip over it, smack myself with it. I don't want to deal with all that. I know it's going to happen. Everybody knows it's going to happen. I don't want to deal with that. So, I also went and started thinking about doing another pivoting uh, mount. And I went through a couple ideas in my head. I mean, it's not like I don't know how to make this stronger. And it's not like I don't have thicker materials and things like that. But, in the end, I just... I think I'm going to go with something a little simpler. And that's using these components uh, in some sort of combination as it is here. And what we have is a piece of square tube, a slightly larger piece of square tube, a plate, another plate, a gusset plate. Um, these were all just in my box. Where I used to work, I'd go behind the metal shear like once a month and grab uh, little triangular pieces of all sorts of thicknesses and shapes and stuff because, hey, never hurts to have some little metal triangles. And, uh, you know, it was real easy when all you had to do is pick them up off the floor because they were going in the scrap pile. So the thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to bother trying to cut the weld out of this. I'm just going to cut, 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 grind it up. Um, this tube with this remainder of the flat piece, I might have to, and I'm gonna to have to flatten it out on the bottom. I can feel it now. Uh, we'll fit, yep, we'll fit very snugly in this square tube. And because this square tube is slightly larger, actually this piece will fit inside of this piece. Um, I'm not really gonna mess with that. And what, what'll end up being is, uh, I might have to work on this gusset too. I think that gusset's going to end up being too long, too big. So we'll take that out for now. Uh, so that there. So what I'll do, I'll drill and pin. I'll drill through this and this. Let's see, can I get this at a better angle? Oh, maybe that. So I'll, I'll cut, cut this piece off the back. It'll be able to slide in here. Um, imagine this. 90 degrees from how it currently is sitting. I'll drill this and that for a pin. And uh, when I need to use it, it'll slide in here, be pinned, hooked to the tractor, pulled where it's got to be pulled, and brought back. When it's, when it's done, pin will get pulled, rod will get pulled, rod will go in that way and it'll it'll stay so it's only going to have about six inches of standoff instead of having you know two and a half feet of standoff um i don't know it may or may not work it'll be easier for me to kind of support and brace this uh than it was working with this piece but still it's going to be i think it's going to be kind of trick I also thought about doing it on like a double pivot. So when you hook it to the tractor, you know, it pivots here and swings when the tractor turns. Um, and it's fixed back here where the load is. 
and I thought about building something where it would pivot there so it would be kind of a double pivot. I don't know if that would be beneficial or not. I guess now is kind of the time to figure that type of stuff out. Um, maybe that'll be round two or three at this point. That'll be round three of trying to figure it out. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta. This is what popped into my head. I think this is going to be the easiest overall. But now that I'm thinking about it, it may not be that good because it may put me back in the same position where it puts a fulcrum on this and doesn't allow things to move uh, smoothly because the wheels are fixed. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should have gone to trailer engineering. That might have been more helpful. Let's back up and think about it, and we'll come back. All right. So after some fiddling around, this is what I got. Um, I said I cut this off uh, and just kind of flattened it out a little bit. Got a hole drilled through. Um, always mark your stuff uh, properly. I drilled the hole in too far the first time, and then... Because I used the drill press initially and lined it all up and everything by the time I was done welding. Couldn't get drill press in there. Yes, my welds are ugly. Let me... Magic hands. Jazz hands. Anyway, couldn't get it back in the drill press to drill a nice clean hole. So this is what I got. Um, it's not bad. Fits. It's all the way to the back of this plate. It'll sit in there. Um, let's see. Looking at my vice handle like that's important. I am going to put this, this all, you know, everything came out of my scrap pile. So I am going to put this on the drill press and take care of a few holes. I think I want uh, probably two holes in here. Um, two holes here. Two. And two more, you know, just in that, in that general pattern. Uh, it should give it plenty of mounting, but I got to bring the unit in because this does attach to a 4x4, four four, and if I was smart and had a tape measure handy, I'd be able to tell you how wide this is, uh, but I've got to look. I'm going to have to look at, the, at setting this against it and figuring out because if I can't use uh, anything along these lines here, then I'll probably put like three in a triangular shape here and then same thing here one two three um and do it that way but i've got to bring that in get it lined up to the tractor and see where we're gonna be so that'll be next all right you got everything attached you got to get some paint on it um Yep, that's right. Move the camera. Exactly. This is the fine quality cinematography you guys know me for. Uh, but yeah, it's in there. Sent it up as best I could. Uh, again, because I got my holes off uh, when I was initially setting up all my, all my stuff and I drilled, uh, my second hole just wasn't quite as good. So it is a little wonky, but that's nothing uncommon for me. I uh, was able to get my six screws in how I wanted them. Let's see, can I get it in the camera? Maybe. Yeah, I think you can kind of see. Um, this will work. Let's see. Man, I am... I wasn't planning on filming anything today, and I just kind of decided to. And so everything is worse than extra normal. Um, but sits in there. That's fine. It goes... <coughs> There. Goes in there. There's a pin that fits there. There's a pin that fits there. It it does have some movement. There, you know, it's going to be what it is. I thought about running another gusset. Uh, I'm just leaving it for right now. Uh, the vertical tube is welded. One, two, let's see, one, two, three sides welded across here. This tube is welded one, two, three sides, plus has the two gussets on it. And with the way it's screwed in, it'll either work or it won't. 
it's not a huge thing if it doesn't work. Come on. It's it's just removing trash cans. Everybody take a deep breath if you got to come back and fix it. Now, if I have to come back and fix it, like, you know, every other month or every two months, then, yeah, it definitely, it's just wrong and broken. Uh, like I say, that first hinge piece, I wasn't, I really wasn't expecting a whole lot out of it. I was hoping for a whole lot out of it, but I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of it. And that's something I think people need to keep in mind. Uh, I think the rain is going to come in here soon, so I'm going to slap some paint onto some of this and close up the garage. That'll be it for now. Um, I got some other stuff cooking. Uh, hopefully get some things rolling here soon. I've been, been out of the motivation train here lately. Uh, but that's it for this one. Quick video, just an update. Had to fix some things. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't work. I don't know. Um, and I don't really care as bad as that is. Uh, it's not going to hurt my feelings one way or the other. Oh, and keynote, because I like to screw things up so that you don't have to. Uh, these are just basically big wood screws. I think they're number 12 or number 14. I, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um... Pre-drill your holes, which I did. I pre-drilled the holes, but I ran them in with an impact driver. Just basic 18-volt Bosch, 20-volt Bosch. No, not Bosch. What the hell do I got? I got the yellow ones. 20-volt uh, um, DeWalt. That's okay. Uses a number three screw, uh, number three Phillips bit. Did that. No problems. So pre-drilled, correct bit, run them in with an impact driver. They're not, they're wood screws. They're not necessarily meant to be run in with an impact driver, or at least not like ugga dug it in with an impact driver. And this one right here, bloop, that one, uh, did go from righty tighty to righty free spinny. So it's broke off somewhere in that four by four. And I didn't do anything. I didn't redrill a hole, and I'm not doing anything. If it starts to pull away, if this all works, and that is the weak point. I'll address it. Um, by address it, I mean I'll drill another hole and just run a screw in. But it'll get addressed then. So just be a little careful when you're using uh, wood screws, even big wood screws on stuff like this. Uh, running in with a with a driver the way I did, I probably really should have used some uh, lag bolts instead of just big wood screws. But you know, live and learn. It's not that important. I don't think the world's going to tilt off its axis or anything like that. We probably won't have any like solar flare anomenas going anomenas, phenomenons. I don't know. Whatever the Muppet says. Um, so yeah, just just be mindful of that. Pay attention. Um, you know, and do things better than I do. Let me screw up, screw up so that you don't have to. All right, hopefully everybody has a good day. Get out, have fun, do something cool. All right, bye.